And now, your midday Arklamis news update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamis update. Monroe police are working on a deadly hit and run case. Happened shortly after 7.30 Tuesday night in the 7900 block of Desert Street. Investigators say a man was traveling east on a motorized bicycle when he was struck by a white SUV. The man, whose uh, name has not been released, died as a result of the crash. And detectives has released the photos. They believe the vehicle that is involved in this situation. The investigation into the crash is ongoing. If you can identify the vehicle or the person who drives it, you're asked to call the number on your screen. Today, the Monroe Fire Department held a citywide fire drill starting at 9 a.m. The department wants to teach about fire safety as part of National Fire Prevention Week. They invited schools, businesses, retirement centers, and apartment complexes to participate in the fire drill. It's time for Oktoberfest at the Murphy Arts District today. Lost 40 will be in town from Little Rock and will be featuring an Oktoberfest style beer called Hunter. A selfie station will be set up and there will be tons of pizza to choose from. It all kicks off at 5 p.m. at the Mule Kick at MAD. Head on over to MuleKickAtMad.com to make your reservation. First being recognized on a national level in 1987, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. NBC Scarlet Gully has a look at what one South Arkansas nonprofit is doing to keep that awareness on the forefront. That's right, community members along with area nonprofits in the city of El Dorado are taking action and spreading awareness this month. It can be anyone in the family. It can be a boyfriend or a girlfriend of somebody. They don't have to be married. It does not have to be living in the same home. And it is such a problem that I don't think people realize that even here in El Dorado, uh, we do have cases. Whether male or female, any individual could be a victim of domestic violence. Jennifer Davis is the executive director of Turning Point South Arkansas. She says awareness matters even more right now in Union County. We actually had a death from El Dorado in 2021. And on the state level, there were 42 people that died as a result of domestic violence. And so it's very serious. It's more common than I think we want to believe. Um, awareness is probably the best thing that we can do. It's the best thing that we can give back to victims. Uh, victims that come to our shelter, we call them survivors. We get them out of that situation and we provide food and shelter and so much more. It takes so much more than that when someone comes to us without without anything. Maybe everything has been stripped away from them. If you or anyone you know in Union County is in need of help from a domestic violence situation, call the number on your screen. Reporting in El Dorado for your weather station, I'm Scarlett Gully. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamis, Jared Floyd. We do push another cold front through the area later this week, and as most of our cold fronts have been over the last month, it will be a dry front, not bringing any rainfall, but it will kind of reset temperatures after uh, we've started to kind of nudge back up to warm or even warmer than average. Mid 80s for highs today, plenty of sunshine with winds light out of the north. Lows tonight, upper 50s under clear skies. Again, a beautiful night if you have outdoor plans. And that's been kind of the, the tough part of the forecast over the next week uh, and really over the last several weeks is the overnight lows have been quite pleasant. The daytime highs haven't been too terrible, especially uh, here and there. But the lack of rainfall, uh, as I mentioned, is not only problematic, but it's just becoming downright frustrating for anyone that uh, that could use it. And it's not happening this week or into the early parts of next week. Could see some rain chances the end of next week. We're talking in the 10 to 11 day time frame. And if we're looking that far in advance, that's not very encouraging in terms of the overall conditions. So again, just be mindful of, of the dry ground across the area and the fire weather danger, while not uh, a, a huge concern considering humidity values are somewhat manageable, just the dry ground in itself will create issues. We will see a little bit of a cool down this weekend, low 80s for highs Saturday and Sunday, morning lows dipping back into the 50s and some spots could even see the upper 40s on Saturday morning. If you get a chance, attend the fair at the Monroe Civic Center. That's it for our midday Arklamis update. NBC News Daily continues now. God bless.